What's up, universe, fit, conscious people? This is day 14 in my bigger chest in 42 days. And today we're going to be doing some dumbbell incline flies. And to start this off, you want to get a bench and raise it to a mild incline. Uh, it's number four on my bench that I'm using here. And as you can see, it's just at about a 45 to 50 degree angle. And you want to start off by grasping two dumbbells and lie on the bench and raise the dumbbells above your upper chest with your arms fixed in a slightly bent position. You want to bend your elbows slightly and internally rot rotate your shoulders so your elbows point out at the sides. Remember guys, whenever we train in chest, we want our elbows going out to the side. We don't want them going behind you because that's going to be targeting your triceps. So you want to lower the dumbbells outward to the sides of shoulders and keep your elbows fixed in a slightly bent position like you hugging something. That's the way the best way to describe it is you're going to be like you're hugging something. So like a big tree or something. So you want to keep your shoulders internally rotated so your elbows, your elbows point downward at the bottom position and outward at the top position. You know, I guess if you can, I'm trying to give you guys different angles and views so you can see what I'm talking about. But I guess the best and simplest way to describe it is going to be like you're hugging something. So you're not going to lock out at the top and you're not going to overextend at the bottom. You're just going to be like you're hugging something throughout the motion. And as you see, guys, I'm breathing. Always remember to breathe whenever you're doing the exercise. And this is going to be a isolated movement this is great for your upper chest your pectoris major clavicle and your synergies on this is going to be your deltoid anteriors and your biceps barracha short head and your stabilizers are going to be your biceps barracha and your barachulus your forearm and your triceps and your wrist flexors so you're getting a great arm workout also during this exercise so Remember, when you're training and you want to maximize your recovery, try to figure out which muscles that you're using so the next day in your next workout you can have the optimal performance by not overtraining your muscles. Well, I hope you guys like this video, and I hope this helps somebody, motivates somebody, inspires somebody in some kind of way. And, yeah, man, it's a great day for fitness. And I'm going to let the rest of this video play. I hope you guys have a great day. And yeah, keep banging that chest.